Okay, um, this is just a, a demonstration um, of a uh, new tool bit that I've just um, purchased um, and it's called Crowbolt. Um, if I can get it in the picture there, um, it's upside down. Uh, I've got it in the tool holder and um, it's uh, it's supposed to be better than HSS but not as good as, as uh, carbide. Um, so I'm machining um, some stainless steel stems uh, on some uh, ball uh, let's see on some ball handles that I'm making um, for the tag and the ball is uh, 3 8 diameter and I've already done a uh, video of that um, so now I have to reduce the the stem down to uh, so that it looks uh, as if it's uh, in uh, the size is in comparison to the ball so I'm going to put a taper on it eventually uh, and but I have to machine the end down uh, to a certain size I'm going to machine that down to 0 0.218 um, because I have a collet that size the 732 so um, uh, that's what I'm actually doing at the moment and I thought I'd just show you how this um, uh, machine or how this tool bit uh, machines on stainless steel I've got a the I'm making the balls from uh, 304 stainless steel and um, so what I'm doing here uh, I've got a move it around a bit um, uh, that's better get it down uh, so I've got some stainless I've got the the ball material and uh, I'm gonna switch it on now and we'll, uh, I've got it running at um, 814 815 rpm um, so I'm just going to touch on and I'm going to take a 20 thou cut and I'll give it a little bit of material and you will see you'll see how well it cuts now I haven't got a chip breaker on it so what I do is I just release the pressure on the hand wheel to just to break the uh, the swarf up so it doesn't get out of control. And um, as you can see, that's 20 thou, and the stainless steel is 304, so it's um it's not really free cutting like 303. Um, but I used it a lot when I was at, at work and found that 304, we used a lot of 304 uh, yeah. so it cuts very well uh, take another cut just to give you a second chance to see it now with this uh, a cobalt uh, material um, they they suggest that you can increase the speed or probably uh, uh, up to two times the normal speed you would have for uh, high speed steel um, I normally I've always used uh, with stainless steel I've always uh, in my lifetime anyway um, usually run it uh, the small stock uh, half inch one inch uh, around about six to seven hundred rpm and found that that works very well I haven't used a lot of cobalt 
um, or carbide, I should say. Um, I have a thing about the uh, the use of carbide in the, in the hobby in the hobby field. I I just feel that um, uh, although carbide is great stuff, um, it's not really necessary when you when you're uh, just uh, in the hobby and uh, producing models. So anyway, that's I thought I'd just show you that. Um, seems to be working very well. Um, I've also bought a small piece, uh, 316 diameter, um, that I used on the ball turning tool that I turn these balls up. Um, they came out quite nice. I found I find that the 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 crow bolt, um, it stands up better, uh, and uh, there's less uh, machining or grinding. Uh, takes place it it lasts longer that's that's what I found anyway but um, uh, I'm sure there's lots of information on Crowbolt on the net on the internet so anyway just thought I'd show you